What's going on? What's going on? We back for another one. Hey, real quickly, if I get up in this damn place, handle this business, I can take my ass home. Um, what's his name? We also had a you know fight on Saturday. Um, Tyson versus uh, Roy Jones Jr. And obviously they had a nice little undercard. You know, Badu Jack was fighting. Um, wasn't too bad. Of a, it was an okay fight. Um, fight before that, you know, two big ass Spanish dude. That dude's huge. Faces some little tiny little African dude, but it still was a good fight though. And um, one of the fights in the undercards was Nate uh, was uh, Robinson versus um, Paul, whatever. You know, the, the YouTuber. But those two are fighting. You know, Robinson gets knocked out. He gets put to complete sleep. And because of that, um, there have been a lot of different memes that have been put in, being put up. You know, the, the Nate Robinson challenge, I guess. You know, people slumped over. You know, asleep and all that. And I guess Floyd Mayweather, you know, he uh, penned a letter where, you know, he was defending the Nate Robinson, talking about how, you know, he shouldn't be, you know, as another brother, that, you know, shouldn't be basically, you know, doing that to each other or whatever. And being, should be actually be there for each other and support each other. You know, things that if it was coming from somebody else, you could listen to it and you can be like, all right, you know, maybe he's right about this situation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people shouldn't be putting out those type of memes and, and they shouldn't be disrespecting um, the man like that. And he was talking about how, you know, all the issues he's had with other brothers has been from when they've done something to him first or whatever it is. Um, but, you know, the reality of the situation is that, you know, if he wanted to come out and say, yo, this is my friend, you know, you know, he put himself out on the line, you know, and that should be commended. It shouldn't be disrespected in the way that it is. Something of that nature that I could understand, you know, um, coming out to your friend's defense, I guess you could say. Um, but when you start making it like, a, a, you know, a brotherly type of thing where like, oh, he's black, I'm black. So we got to, you know, stick together. We got to, you know, show love for each other, respect for each other. When it comes to that, he just happens to be the person that is not in a space where he can say something like that. He's not in a space to do that. Um, just due to the fact, just due to his, you know, a lot of previous behavior. He flip-flops a lot on this stuff. One minute, one minute he's all big into the whole, you know, racial, you know, uh, things that's going on in the world and how, you know, you know, you know, certain races being treated and, and then the negative thing, things that happen to them. And, you know, how things need to change. And he talks about all the, the racial discrimination that he's dealt with. But then on the other hand, he flips over and he goes a complete different direction. You know, when it came to Sterling and we heard all the racial comments that were said by him. You know, Floyd Mayweather came out and said, hey, he never did nothing to me. You know, he never said anything disrespectful like that for me. That's what he said when it came to that. When it came to somebody like Donald Trump. And, you know, this is a guy that pretty much you know, has people in this cabinet that are looking for racial wars to start and all this other stuff. This is a guy who, when it comes to white supremacists, he pretty much, you know, <laughs> he won't speak down on them. <laughs> That's for sure. He won't speak down on them. He's done a lot of, a whole lot of different other racial things, when they, whether it comes from Mexicans or whether they come from Muslims all types of things. He's made a lot of derogatory comments towards a lot of different races and a lot of different people. This guy who has a history of, you know, having been sued before because he wouldn't let allow black people to, you know, to go into apart to his apartment buildings that he owned. He wouldn't rent to them. You know, he's has a, a long history of both sexism and racism. He was there at his, at his inauguration. You know, this is a guy who when it came to, you know, Gucci and, and Gucci basically putting a sweater that looked like blackface, you know, and people were outraged about that. What he did was go buy more Gucci. He's out to support a whole bunch of Gucci. Like, I'm not going to go with the, I'm not going to go with the, you know, with the, with everybody else and what they want to do, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to write, you know, put my own lane. That's what he said. Started rocking Gucci, everything, top to bottom, Gucci, everything. After, you know, this this company completely just disrespected the race that you're from and pissed on it like it was nothing which is fine like you can take that road if you want to you can have that 
philosophy, you know, you can ride that plane if you want to, but you can't flip flop. You can't, you can't jump in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And that's what Floyd Mayweather does a lot. He jumps in and out depending on, you know, what works best when all this racial tension was happening and all of a sudden he started talking about racial things that happened with racism, things of that nature. Um, Andre Ward does the same thing. You know, when, when there was Kovalev, he was fighting Kovalev, but he used to talk all about the racial discrimination and, and the double standards and, and all the things that, you know, Kovalev was saying. But then flip it over to when, you know, Fred from Barbershop Conversations confronts him about all these things, all of a sudden it never was about race. You know, even though you you can find many vehicle, uh, many videos where he talks about it and he says that all of a sudden it wasn't about race, all of a sudden he wasn't black, he's mixed. <laughs> You know, but when all this stuff started happening with all the protests and everything, all of a sudden he started talking about all the racial things that he went through. I thought, I thought you're not black, though. Then all of a sudden, because all of a sudden, Tim, it became cool. You know, it's like Floyd Mayweather, Mr. All Lives Matter. That's what he was saying before, too, when they were talking about all the different, you know, the, 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 the racial discrimination of certain things that were happening in, in black communities, where they're being targeted or harassed by, you know, let's say from police officers or whatever, the corrupt ones, because there's a lot of good ones, but there are some fucked up ones. You know, can't just close your eyes to that reality. <laughs> they exist. Um, and what well, he was like, he's not writing with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was, he was like, he's not writing with all, at that at all. So you can't, you can't flip flop. You know, what he needs to do is just stay in your lane. Stay, stay in the plane that you're in. Don't talk about injustices and things of that nature. That's not you. You know, talk about boxing, talk about your past life in boxing, talk about your $18 million watches and your nice cars and your houses and how you made hundreds of millions of dollars. That's more being you. You know, when it comes to all this other stuff, stay out that lane. That conscious stuff, you know, a man who had his daughter around thoughts her whole damn life. So now she starts to act reckless in a certain way and people are all appalled. <gasps> Why is she acting like this? Why is she acting like this? You know, she has everything. She never has to work a day in her life. Why is she acting like this? Look at the people that he's had around her her entire life. These are the people that she was getting, you know, she's getting pointers from. She's looking at how they live in their lives, and she's taken from that. <laughs> so, no, you know, definitely Robinson, um, Good luck to him. Um, hopefully he recovers, especially after getting knocked unconscious like that. Stay out of boxing. Don't do that anymore. You're a multimillionaire. You got millions in the bank. You got a nice house. You got a nice life. Just go commentate or something. There's other things that you can do, but this thing where people think they can just get up and decide, hey, I want to be a boxer. And, you know, I'm going to train for two or three months and then and start boxing. It's not... It's not the lane that people need to be going to. So, you know, good luck to him. You know, hope he, hopefully he's healthy. Hopefully he's good. Hopefully he makes a good recovery. And um, stay at the ring. And as far as Floyd goes, stay in your lane. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.